Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some Unify Access firmware updates. This won't be an overly long video, but there has been some releases this month that are pretty cool. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And we have a Discord server, and I'll put a link in the description below. Like always, if you don't want to hear me read off the updates, I will put the links down below so you could go directly to the Unify update page. But the first update will be for the Unify Access application 1.3.35. And let's read some of the improvements. The first improvement will be adding video capture settings in the settings page. So now we could enable the video capture, and this requires a hard drive to be in our UDM Pro. We could record audio if we'd like. And then we could do the capture duration. Below that, and the biggest new feature that I'm going to like, and that's in another one of these updates as well, is it supports various doorbell user interface in the UA Pro settings. We have default, quick call, and swipe to call. This requires the UA Pro firmware version 2.1.115 or above. And then we support various doorbell button UX, hold for three seconds, tap to call, or disable our doorbell. And it requires a firmware version of 3.8.28.30. I'm not too sure if that's released yet. It does say it's released later on, but we'll take a look once I upgrade the UA Lite. They have device detail UX optimization. And then we add policy parameters in the access log events. And then we have a couple bug fixes. So fix time zone display issue that after saving the holiday schedule, display the wrong holiday date as previous date. It fixed policy display issue that cannot display user groups such as building 24 seven and then fixed issue where the iPad browser cannot access the access application. So that's the firmware update for our Unify access controller. There was also an update for the UA hub and this improves access log reporting mechanisms to prevent access log loss between the UA hub and the access application. Optimize the access log recording mechanism to ensure that the latest access log can be recorded when the log limit is reached. And then it does these other two that are in UID access, which is still in early access, so we won't talk about it. And then it fixes a bug issue with open door by Ren, Rel, or Rex during emergency lockdown. And the biggest update that I'm excited about is the UA Pro firmware 2.1.119. And this is gonna give us that doorbell functionality. So we could have our default mode we could have our quick call and then we could have the swipe to call and we'll test that out. Now let's take a look at the new features in these updates. For the UA Lite, the firmware isn't past the update that we need for the Lite status. So we'll have to take a look at that later on. But we could still look at the doorbell functionality within the UA Pro. So I'll click on the UA Pro and then we'll go to settings. Under the settings, we could see the doorbell triggers. By default, it's hold for three seconds and I'll show you what that does. So on my UA Pro, we could see this doorbell button. We just gotta hold it down for three seconds. And then it will call us. And this triggers an update to Unify Access or if you have the app on your phone, I'll show you what it looks like when it's going through the dashboard. I'll hold the doorbell button again for three seconds. And we could see a call coming from main door first floor. We could either talk or we could decline. So that's pretty cool and the same thing happens when you're doing it through your application on your phone and you could do a two-way chat. The next trigger is for a tap to call. We'll save that and instead of holding it down for three seconds, we just need to tap it. So I'm going to hit the doorbell button and it calls right away. I like that feature a lot better. And the last trigger type is to disable the doorbell altogether. We won't do that. I'm going to leave it at tap to call. And then we have a few different display modes. So we have our default, which just shows us our doorbell and then shows us our authentication types. And then we have quick call. We'll save the quick call. Now we could see that icon for the bell. I'll click it and then it's calling right away. The next action we could swipe to call. So instead of pressing the bell itself, we would just swipe. So we'll press swipe to call and then press save. Now on the UA Pro, you could see it says swipe to call and we'll swipe. And now it's calling our Unify Access. So this wasn't a major update to Unify Access, but I think it was needed. The little doorbell symbol on the UA Pro is very small and a lot of people wouldn't even know to call. The main one that I'll probably use is the swipe to call as I think it's very clear to what people could do. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.